Rather than where we saved, I thought it'd be more beneficial if we actually started this video right where, right in the bar. See if there's any differences. So I'm gonna just talk to the rat man here for Darig. Dream or reality? Neither or real world. Confusing, eh? What? He basically said something earlier about how these half-life creatures, such as himself, um, Metal Man, Corn, basically people who are human during the day and like monsters or whatever during the night, these half-creatures, they find it difficult to see between what's dream and what's reality. And I suppose dream is meant to be the Neverworld. The Neverworld was... was born... The Neverworld was born when humans found intelligence and became conscious of death. It has grown since that time, absorbing thoughts from death. Well, that gives you a bit of background history there. Charlie says he can hear the voices of the dead. Help him, would you? That'd be about a quest I started previously, and I thought I'd dealt with that. Have you got any quests then? Nope. Bollocks about Charlie. Bollocks. Let's quickly get something out of the Tin Man before moving on. Squeak, a thug has turned up in the pub. Do something about it. Why did he come? Here anyway. How should I know? What fuck is this? What are you on? There's no one else in the damn pub. The rat people and two people in the back. Maybe it's talking about me. Eh, bastards. So, let's quickly rush off. As you know from the last episode, uh, last, well, thing I'd done, I'd given the girl Ellen my picture, so as not to raise any suspicion, so I'm going to see if she used it. Guess not. Keats! So you've come. I have a question. Does this Neverworld mean that ancient legends were true? The fabrications of ancient man and these illusions are unrelated. But it seems that they are, to me as well. But the afterworld is no such place. How do you know? I just know. Why not come along? That photo allowed me to communicate with the dead. Why not? I could do with a new story. To the church graveyard. The apex of Ryan's memories. Oh, I guess that's Ryan's gravestone. Well, that fairy did mention once upon a time that he wanted a lighthouse on his gravestone. What? What is this? It's Alice in Wonderland, love. At the graveyard. And there's fire. Well, I guess we know how we're getting back. And that's the symbol of our latest opposition. Anyway, remember all our weapons. We got, we got the uh, burges. Oh, what the hell? Is that a village getting ransacked? What is this? Crazy ass crap. Just stumbled across a ransacked village. What is this place? So the Neverworld wasn't the land of the fairies? This place is, well, let us call it Warcadia. Warcadia. The Neverworld was born out of human thought and death. A fairy realm of pleasure is how the ancients imagined the afterworld. And so Warcadia must be a contemporary image of death then? That makes sense. Where is Ryan? Inside another folklore? Not necessarily. But it's true that the dead who feel powerful emotions 
such as rage, hatred or sorrow, tend to get pulled inside for claws. I see. I have more questions though. Are there other realms besides this? As many as there are stars. Fairy realm is only the beginning. This walk here is quite far removed from the real world. And the further away it is, the more strength necessary to open the door to that world. And my strength is limited, is that it? That's why you need the power of the folklores. You defeated Seronos in the fairy realm, and so... You mean that's why I was able to enter Warcadia? So two birds with one stone? More for my story plus an occult experience to boot? Alright, do a quick save here. Save! We now know where we're going to be teleporting from. Five minutes we dealt with that. Five minutes. Okay, now. Rush off up this thing. Talk to the fairies quick. What the hell is that? I came for you. Let me tell you a few things. Which path to take? You can decide to move on. Or just walk down a little. You might find something good. I certainly won't stop you if you want to hurry on through. Just be careful. There are many difficulties ahead. Releasing karma. Certain conditions make the folks you use grow stronger. Such as absorbing the id of the same folk many times. How to meet the dead. This is the battlefield. Unlike the fairy realm, we don't have a meeting room of the dead in here. If you want to meet the dead, you'll have to look for them. Neverworld doors. Denizens of the Neverworld cannot pass freely between the different realms. That's why we follow you too as you go. World. So these are what rebels look like. They're terrible. There are quite a few who don't like the Fairy Lord. He behaves like he represents the entire Neverworld. Oh, is that non fairy over here? Non-rebel. Yep. The flow of time in the never the flow of time in the never world is quite different from that of the real world. You could end up passing someone who you thought left after you. Or you could end up behind someone you thought you'd passed. So we could still get ahead of Ellen. That's good news. Let's get this going. Unfortunately, while you watch this YouTube video, time does not pass differently. What the hell are these? He's got a gun! Well, that's no match for this thing. Oh god, you under mask. Oh gosh. Right, let's see what this thing does then. Just picked up a hawk. First of the unknown soldiers. The Hawk are minor gorillas who want to foil their superiors even more than the enemy. They came up with plans, too timid to carry them out. See how strong you are. So, absorb five of you, defeat three bum broom bears with hawks. Basically, defeat their superiors with hawks, and you're covered. I just like the idea that's going on about these, these are the soldiers. The old. The old communist guard here that tried very hard, become their own masters and failed. Okay, that's an item or two. We've just yellow. This is where we get yellow dust. Oh, that's good. Right, let's keep going then. Better be anything else of interest out here. Let's kill more of those guards. You die now, you die now, little guards. You, my friend, are definitely going down. I feel like the bumblebee guards are about are gonna turn up soon. Anyway, let's see what the hawk uh, stupid thing. Right. I'm gonna need to get him up another ten of these things, right? That should be easy enough.
Burn, little hawk. Getting all this lovely yellow dust as well. Which will last upgrade one of our other creatures. I can't remember which one wanted the yellow dust, like loads of it. But you remember something wanted like 10 tankers of it. Oh, look at those little, little security guards just popped out of nowhere. Judging by where we are. Ram them all at once. Take this shortcut. I don't know where it leads, but I'm assuming it doesn't lead anywhere important. We are definitely taking this route. Hopefully, it leads nowhere important. Yeah, there's not both of these things. Oh crap! I some accidentally got one of their leaders. Got green dust, but you know. Hey, we've upgraded the Hawks. Right. I'm gonna go get one of those. I'm gonna get a Hawk guy. And. Not wrong button. That's the one. Let's put you on X. Yeah. Actually, I'll check out what I need for the Bombardiers as well while I'm at this. I thought it was on here. There we go. The barges. Barrager loves to blaze away, scattering bullets indiscriminately. For all its showy activity, it really doesn't accomplish much. So just absorb more barges. The hawk wants me to kill Brumba Bear. Right. Is that what it wanted? Yeah, yeah, Brumba Bears. So we'll, we'll, we'll set uh, the other guy on. Yeah. No, yeah, that's the one. Get out the old giant bear again. Hopefully there's any iron sliding around. Look at these things. Kill them with an old slight hand. Spray, damn it, spray, man. Alright. Alright, right, I don't need to care. I don't need to give a damn. Let's just catch a load of them, right? God damn. God damn. You almost got me. Machine gun by this thing. That's a sniper. Nah, I ain't no sniper. Just some stupid soldier. Kill this guy and then, yeah. I actually don't know where this is leading. I really don't. Oh well. What have we got? Health. More crap. I don't know if I'm accidentally going near some sort of dangerous boss area. Do it, is it me or does that look like a dangerous boss area up ahead? I just. It has the feel to it. So, otherwise it's an area, yeah, 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 it felt like it was a dangerous boss area. What the hell is that? A volcano? What? Ah, oh, screw it. Some sort of boss, I'm sure. He's probably weak against ice or something stupid. Which means I can't beat him. Fortunately, I have a Bargus, and that beats everything. Damn it, you... Nah, no, sniper bastard. You! I'm gonna kill you! Kill you! Don't even know what you're weak against, but I'm gonna kill you! Take your own. Take your medicine, dang ass. God damn this asshole. Come here. Die your own speedy ass death, you rocket launching bastard. I know he's not gonna be weak against fire. That would just be too easy. And unlikely. But probably too easy. So, this guy is clearly something I want to get. So, there we go, we've got him. When it's are blue, beat absorption mode is in effect. Alternatively, move the controller left or right to beat the edge into the ground. Okay. 
I don't know which side I'm shaking on. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, cool, cool, fuckers. There we go, through a couple of words that don't exist out there, and we won him. We got some green quartz out of it. Yay! Yay! Let's see what that thing needs to do well. The volcano guy. When it gets angry, both enemy and ally alike will be blasted indiscriminately with its flames, burning itself, then coming to its senses. So we're sorry. Just absorb another one of itself. Right. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. I still don't know where we've gone. Quite a number of fairies have been sent in here. Sent in. Interfering in other realms like this is no small matter. Denizens of the fairy realm? Why are they coming here? Immensely powerful beings sometimes control denizens of, nev of a netherworld. The fairy lord is one of them. Actually, it was he who invited Ellen into the Neverworld. Is that Scarecrow his emissary? What's so special about her? One question at a time. What's the fairy lord's goal? What's so special about her? We'll do what's so special about her, then we'll do his... his goal. What's so special? What's the relationship between Ellen and them? Denizens of the Neverworld cannot pass freely between the realms. It seems the Fairy Lord cast some type of spell on Ellen. It opens up a path to the Neverworld where Ellen is. Ellen is a Neverworld trailblazer for all fairies, is she? What's the Fairy Lord's goal? The Fairy Lord aims to change the Neverworld. The fairies don't think the Neverworld is how it should be. Surprisingly progressive for a realm created from ancient ideas. They're simply clinging to an older era, that's all. Enough for now. Speak to the dead to solve your so-called conundrum. I was intending to. Their save point? Alright. This is mainly because we cocked up, so I, we're gonna we're gonna continue on. We're, that's like the latest save. So this is actually gonna be one. That's the end of part one. I'd say quite long, really. Till next time.